glasses always steam up if I have these masks on, so I can't wear glass. I could be buying anything when I go to the shop. Um, we've all got cases of work, haven't we? Whether it's voluntarily or paid employment, people that we help out. And yet sometimes in our life, that working life is disconnected from our spiritual life. We kind of have this sacred secular divide and we think that Jesus isn't really bothered about what we do with most of our working time. We spend so much time in the office, factory, school, wherever it may be, and yet we don't think it's as important as that place over there, the church is building, that that's where the real stuff happens. But you know, God's just as interested in what you do on a Monday or a Wednesday or Friday, whatever other day of the week it is, as he is about what we do when we're gathered together. And boy, we're looking forward to being back together, aren't we? But hasn't this year also emphasised that the rest of the week is just as important? We've been thinking this week about the gospel according to Bruce Springsteen. And one of the themes of his songs is the working life, the dignity of it, the hard work of it, the injustice of it. And don't we feel that sometimes? Injustice at work? Sometimes we feel a dignity. You get home from a hard day's work where you've done something really well and you think that was worth it. Jesus is interested in that. There's a Catholic writer that I love called Walker Percy. He's a novelist. And he said that in his novels, he wanted to prove that God was alive and relevant on a boring Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon, just as much as he was when you're in church on a Sunday. Where do you work? What do you do? Paid, voluntary? Do you sense the dignity in it? More importantly, do you sense the presence of Jesus in your work? When you're teaching at school and the kids won't listen, when you're in a board meeting and the other members just won't hear your voice, when you're on the factory floor and the boss just doesn't understand what you're going through, when you're going in the morning and you're racked with guilt about the argument you had with your partner before you left, when you look at the watch and think, I'm not going to get home in time to put the kids to bed again. May we know that Jesus is present with us. Yeah, absolutely, when we gather together as followers of him to pray and worship and sing. But also when we're over there, working in our shop, our hairdressers, our factory, our accounting firm, whatever it may be. May we find dignity. May we find the presence of Jesus in our everyday work. Because don't forget, Jesus was a carpenter before he died for us. I imagine he was a pretty good one. <laughs>